Ma me vana se ma Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV de o se dem yopo. They were trying to submit the story, but at the end of the day, Ebeye Claire said the Belgium authorities is not eager to listen. Ampa, how much will be free Ghana? Sibio Ebeye Ghana Airport Immigration Ghana Airport Company Limited for inko fudi bi ne bua ni pano. And a nipa de sa cooking eight point five kilos no a chim at the bar and fa at the bar a year Belgium. Remember, Mamma Casa Mitro. When it comes to cooking bus, a car a bar cooking a chino gana, you can see say majority of the time cooking a bagana more when the NPP is in power. Yin like I Benjamin is you know, a year and a kufo um a year kufo time na a cooking a dibi do gana a year the show sa a man for dani cooking bua puma it got to do with the NPP is known for cocaine. Any connection with cocaine, any other day. Um, today, I have breaking news for you. And I just want you to remember, say, sa story with is still pending. It is a disgrace uh, the NPP government led by Baumia. It's all got to do with illegality. It's got to do with crime. It's got to do with using Ghana as a transit point. Ah, omodiye on cocaine business. Now, from Sunday, there's been breaking news. Ewo, 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 tema, port. Now, breaking news, you know, in here, if you're watching me, there's this breaking news. I need to speak in English a little bit so that, um, I don't call international. We are going to also send some letters out uh, to show other media houses say this is what is actually happening in Ghana. This breaking news I'm about to talk about has got to do with a year, uh, the tema port. On Sunday, Sunday, a vessel, uh, uh, a vessel actually docked at the tema uh, harbor uh, in Ghana Sunday and what I'm about to tell you you know the Ghana government the narcotics control board the Ghana army the Ghana police the immigrations and custom they are involved they have made sure this news does not come out see they make a trouble no? sir Asemna is see Sunday we know um, the ship that vessel that came to Ghana shows now a docky a water my port you know um, I'm going to show you the pictures of the do the, the ship I'm going to show you um, uh, yeah, how you can track the ship, where it's coming from. We have more pictures and more information on this matter. We want to see the integrity of the Ghana military, uh, yeah, the, the narcotic control board. We want to see the customs and also the Ghana army. They are all at the port. As I speak to you, that uh, yeah, vessel, no? every single person around the vessel, they've been told to stay away from the vessel. From Sunday, nobody has been allowed to get on or get off the vessel. Something is happening behind the scenes at night at Ghana. Now, this is what I am talking about. This vessel, a ATTU Kribi, it is right now at Tema Port as we speak tonight. It is sitting at Tema Port. And the interesting thing is, this vessel, a bedroom at Tema Port, you know, and you can see the I. The IMO number, that is the IMO number, 9116010. That is the unique number for every ship. The IMO number, no, 9116010. That is the ship. Uh, um, a year, Ghana Navy or Ghana Army. So, somebody is saying Ghana Navy or Ghana Army. The Ghana Army is at the port. So, don't get it wrong. We are not getting facts twisted here. There's Ghana Army at the port, Ghana Navy at the port. National Security Kandapaz boys are there. We are talking about the narcotic board. They are there. <coughs> These people are there at the port since Sunday. This this ship is still at Tema Port. Now, ship we through Tema, and when it got to Tema Port, it was seen to be carrying a yet share nuts and trucks, pickups. But upon a yet search by some of the custom officers, they realized that this ship has a lot of illegal substance believed to be cocaine on board. See, this ship came all the way from baby, and I'll give you the tracking so that you can go and check where the ship is coming from. Ship Webe do Tema Port, no? They told a year the customs officials and they say, Yeah, a what ship in him no a year, what we call a year share nut and a year tracks. It's basically, you know, not a cast be the womb and a share not and a and also womb. But upon investigations, any checks, you know, by some of the custom officials uh, who were not privy to what was going on, no, not a bimu nim said deal be say and a coso. So some people went deeper, and what happened was they got to know, say, 
Shipway is carrying cocaine, a lot of them. The coke was concealed. And there's a lot of cocaine in that ship. Adoki Ewo, Ghana port, Tema port. As I speak to you tonight, it is sitting there. Customs in Penifoni Minanim. Ghana Army for Edomokonim. Kandapa knows. Narcotic Control Board, they know. The ship, you catch your be as own free ship. No? Nobody is entering and no one is getting out. Now, when you go to the port right now, you see this ship sitting there, the IMO number, no? 9116010. Now, so open the track ship will be free by air. So this is Thermaport. That is the ship sitting there. It is going on right now. The government wants to keep this under wraps. They don't want anybody to know. Since Sunday, they have not allowed the media. They have not made it public. It's crazy amount of cocaine. I can't watch them. This is not a joke. Now, when you track this vessel, this is what you see. When you use the vessel tracker, you can go and check for yourself. www.vesselfinder.com The vessel tracker will tell you, said, this ship, it is all the way from Aye, Colombia. This ship came from Colombia. It is a Ocha K, the tracking of this ship. You will see clearly 23 days ago. Now you can see Temaport. It docked on the 18th of April at 6 o'clock p.m. Six o'clock p.m. Sunday, and a ship we a landing or Ghana. Now, the IMO and a MMS I know a nine one one six zero one zero or six one three one one five nine zero zero flag Cameroon flag and also who the call sign no, a TJM five one eight nine length or beam a ninety by fourteen meters. Um, Katagina Ank, Colombia, ATD, March 30th, uh, 25 days ago, and it took free So this ship is right now sitting at the Tema port. And I can tell you, sir, the Ghana officials are in charge of the port. They know that this ship came in with thousands of cocaine at Egum. As we speak today, the government is lip tight. The Jubilee House, they know about this. The president knows about this. People in government, some who are connected to this, they know about this. So this is not something we should joke with. Last week, and I hear out the report here say, Ghana cost a uh, immigration officer, El Kutuka International Airport, RAD, a drug peddler. A man in the area, cocaine afar kutuka international airport, akupi a year Belgium. This person we are talking about today, this official or immigration official or Ghana airport, he's still walking around. In the one week, now we have a ship that is sitting at a year the Tema port. And what we are seeing or telling you tonight. And the ship, no, it came telling Ghanaians say a share not and a tracks the woman by no more. From Sunday, they have kept this tight. Workers at the port, they, everybody has been driven away not to get close to the ship. Some people are trying to cover up this crime. This is serious. And you know the most interesting thing. So Oko Kotoka International Airport, eh? And I'm going to talk about a yes, I could effort Kotoka Echo Belgium. No? It is so easy. Mr. P, Mr. S. Okay, so thank you very much. My team wants me to remind you of this. In 2022, the British, the British Embassy or the British government actually made it clear to Ghana and the world to say, 
Ghana identified as the transit country for drug trafficking. We are all the way in 2022. The British High Commission and I'm really this statement. You know, I catch a Ghana for say from 2022. No, before that, no man would say Ghana bet done a year a transit point. Majority of cocaine effa echo Europe, you know, every South America. I don't know, you know, effa a year the entire port. And this was in 2022. It was what I say the amount of hard drugs are effa Ghana ports. The Tema Port and Kotoka International Airport, you know, a lot of drugs and a buying way. Some people in this government are aiding criminals to use Ghana as a transit point. So as I speak to you, do not take this thing as a joke. And the most interesting thing is we have been able to take pictures of a year soldier for any Ghana in Penifu or Mukosa ship. No. So nobody can come today and say, say, we don't know anything about this ship. We went to conduct a test and that there was a search and there was nothing in. Yo, we know. So I want Ghanaians to understand to say, when it comes to uh, these kind of things, the NPP government now at Abaimono, even the British government, I catch in 2022, say, and I could for no bow me, and Ghana has become a transit point. You can see a transit pointer. See, the gold, 10 boxes, seven boxes, one shah, a beka See, so you can say a higher transit pointer. So you have the cocaine, 10 boxes, you can At least, I know about three boxes will be left in that country. That means, say, so you have the cocaine, 20,000 boxes, you can know the amount of cocaine that will be left in that country. When I'm on the best sell, the youth, I bet destroy the future of the nation. And see, we need to understand, the say, when you get the British Embassy, the U.S. Embassy, all of them telling you, say, and I could forward the neighbor, the MPP, where Ghana has become a cocaine transit point. Don't take it as a joke, because they have done thorough investigations, and they have the fact. And today, I can tell you, say, Oko Tema Porter, this ship is sitting there right now, full of cocaine. And the authorities know, that is why they are telling no one to enter the ship or get off the ship. Who and who are connected to the ship? That's the question. We know who and who are connected to the ship. We know the people are who did the paperwork for this ship to dock at the Kutuk, uh, at the Tema uh, 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 Harbor. So nobody's getting out of this. Now the most interesting thing is when it comes to a uh, year, how people are able to move hard drugs through Ghana and through our airport, any our port. Uh, do you know, say, Ghana, Kotoka International Airport, VVIP Lounge, you know what I'm saying? Eh, honey, the old choir, and check out, eh, VVIP, you know? All that you need to do is to pay $400. When you pay $400, you can use the VVIP at the Kotoka International Airport. You know that. So, listen. Somebody moving millions and dollars of eh, hard drugs to Europe to America, to wherever. And that person has to just pay $400 to access or use the VVIP where that person will not be searched. That person will not go through the main immigration. How difficult. Now, after you go through the VVIP, the rest is on foot. Omoma Kenyina, you can sort them out with hard currency. Inti, the moment you're, you don't pass through a year that immigration thorough search, you know, now to me, we have VVIP, which is that $400. Huh? So our oh, immigration officers, bear seven to meet her. Huh? You just have to give everybody $10,000 or less than that, and that you are good. You can give them as cheap as 2000 Ghana cities, and you will walk through. That is why, so our story now here at the break here, you know, we were asking, say, hey, then a woman to me this amount of cocaine, 8.5 kilos, every plane, Mukoye, it is because they go through the VVIP lounge. Now, VVIP, you know, who operates the VVIP? It is Bedi Etu's wife, the president secretary, secretary to the president. His wife runs the VVIP at Kotoka International Airport. So do the connection. So whether it is CIP or VVIP, it is the same. You can call it the CIP or the VVIP. At the end of the day, 
the kind of services they are getting, you, know, you going through the regular one, you, know, you are not getting the same services. So whether the name is CIP or VVIP, at the end of the day, somebody is managing the VVIP or the CIP. And the person who manages the VVIP or CIP, whatever you want to call it, you know, it is the president, the secretary to the president, his wife, Asante Bediatro's wife, is in charge of the VIP or CIP at the Kotoka International Airport. So ask yourself, who is checking the free flow of drugs through our airports? That is why today, as we sit here at the Tema port, as we sit here, and yet this ship is sitting there since Sunday. The government is doing everything possible that the story doesn't go out. I am giving you the breaking news tonight. This ship, it has been intercepted. It has docked at the Tema port. They have come to the conclusion, say, hey, okay, Megum. There are people in this government who are connected to this. This ship is sitting there. May the I -O -I -M -O number no Amamo. I've given you the IMO number. Ochna, I'll come and give you more details because we don't want to flow everything. Now, nah, almost 30 in Chantro. If we have been able to get you all these things, it means we have more than what you think. So, the IMO number is 9116010. It is from Colombia. It bears a Cameroonian flag. Uh, you can go to www.vesselfinder.com. Ube be a ship free. And I can tell you, sir, the ship is coming from Colombia. Omo Bananom said the ship was carrying Shenat and uh, yes, some few trucks. But at the end of the day, no, through the checks, no, Omo will say ship no, is not a ship. A bit to me, I call easy, sir. It is called Atu Kribi. Atu Kribi. This ship is right now at the Kutuka International Airport. It's breaking news. I will not give you more, but I have more. So I will let you know more from tomorrow. Tonight, you know, this is all that I can tell you. You cannot trust this government, this NPP government, this NPP government, you cannot trust it. They need money so bad. They have messed up your country. They are using your country as a transit point. They are not kidding. Oh. They have destroyed your country. Talk to Ghana Junior will say, Mina wo yemia, you are destroying yourself. Oh. Obaba na was so kosku o kapia. O kosku o e yisrim. Obaba no sa koke na abagana na ebi ye o flodia. Obetina obana e ye drugs. Na sa in dona nkran mo ji se frihi. It is these kind of things. And the jack sa traces ni wo krunim. E krobia e transit point biano. The mebunu no the youth no. They are destroyed. Because omuna at the end of the omia final consumers. Omuna e drobia e bejan o gana biano. Omuna omia den. Omo Efa. So this thing you are seeing it like that. It is not a joke. Alright. So Atu Kribi. Menga say aye atu chebi. Aye atu kribi. IMO number no air 9116010. Uh you can also find it. Uh it's from Colombia. Uh let me put the details here. Send it to be easy for everyone. So um you can use the finder to search where it's coming from. Details no any other to hamamono. We will publish this on Loud Silence Media, our website, and also our uh, news channels, all platforms for people to also follow the story. It's an ongoing story. The government wants to show the story. They want to cover up something somebody in government is doing. Uh, we will do our best to let you know the truth. Omwa omri kokin efa Ghana, omwa omulidi these people. Um, so the distance no any how course and speed any how hono. Current drought air 3.7, navigation status, nothing. Positions received 23 days ago. A year IMO, MMSI, and a number in the flag in Cameroon, Cameroon, sorry, Cameroon. Um, length in the world, and a Katagina, Anchor, Colombia, a whole, and a year, a year, ship we a free. So you can follow up. What about the report? We have a sa ship we a subiano. It is there because it is carrying cocaine. Our uh, yeah, authorities don't want Ghanaians to know. Tonight, Mumbusa custom officials, you know, all the people who work around Bibia ship region, they have sacked everybody. Yes, Ghana military, the National Security, Narcotic Control Board, Customs, and then Omaka, Navy, they are all there. They are trying to find a way to let these people go. 
the government of the day is trying to make something up so that this ship can sail. We need to make sure this never happens again. So far, so good. Say open online portal at Ghana. Ah, you can share, you can follow, you can comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I have TV.